hello guys welcome to another video of microsoft azure in today's video we are going to discuss about how to create an image out of a virtual machine okay how we can capture the image of a virtual machine or how we can take the snapshot of a vm in azure okay so we have created this virtual machine and this is a linux one you want to you can see the operating system here and uh, we are going to take the image or we are going to create an image with this vm okay so let's go to the virtual machines here we'll have to open our virtual machine this is my vm open it and if you see in the overview tab here at the top you will see an option to capture it so simply just click on capture so it will allow you to capture an image of the virtual machine so later you can create this uh, you can use the same image to create the create different type of virtual machines i mean with all the uh, things reconfigure suppose you have installed some application in the virtual machine uh, which you are creating the image then uh, all the applications you might have installed in the virtual machine or all the software packages those will be auto installed or those will be automatically added uh, in the virtual machine if you create with this image okay you can also share this you can store this image in azure compute gallery to share it or you can share it with anyone even those people can use this image and create a virtual machine out of it even virtual machine and virtual machine scale sets as well okay so let's begin the video here once you click on capture we get an option here to create an image okay we will select the resource group region and if you want to store this image in a compute gallery then we you, you just select it yes if you want don't want to store in compute gallery just select the no okay so i will suggest you to store this image in a compute gallery so that you can use this image later or you can share this image okay so if you click on yes you will have to provide all the details like target compute gallery if you have already there if not you can create a new one so let me create it so suppose this is my azure compute gallery okay i've created it and you can select two types of operating system state here one is generalized and another one is specialized so in generalized if you select the generalized here whenever you create a new virtual machine out of this image then you will have to set up everything like you will have to provide the host name admin user admin password and other things okay you can uh, select different i mean you can create a virtual machine with different name and you can set admin user name and password accordingly according to your requirement or whatever you want but if you are selecting the specialized then in this case you cannot change the or you cannot specify the host name of a virtual machine okay it will be automatically used of the image which i mean this virtual machine image since you are creating image from this virtual machine host name will be of this virtual machine even admin user and password you won't have to configure anything okay so we will select the generalized one because uh, that is uh, i mean good in my opinion 
so that you can set uh, credentials or you can specify the username or host name according to your requirement or according to your company policy or maybe naming conventions okay here you will have to give the target vm image definition if you don't have just create it okay so you can just give the image definition name suppose image one os type is linux you can select the vm generation here as well but these all are pre-selected because Mm, this this is gen 2 image this in this is the vm architecture is uh, into 64 i have selected while creating the virtual machine okay you can select all these things publisher offer sq you can keep this as default you can give all the all these settings vm memory and other things or you can keep this as default as well click and click on ok okay so vm definition is created and you will have to provide the version number suppose which version is this suppose this is 1.0 version okay then in this case you can provide so it is asking to provide the version in major dot minor dot patch okay so basically you can provide something like 1.0.0 in this format this is major version this is minor and this is patch okay you can provide end date as well other things as well you can provide the zone redundancy so this image will be replicated to some another region as well if you don't want zone redundancy you can just select premium ssd lrs standard hard disk whatever you want so next click on tags review and create this will run the final validation and it will give you an option to create so i have created the image so once you have clicked on create an image what will the what this will do this will stop your virtual machine you can see this is stopping the virtual machine and after that it will create the image out of it okay so now let me open this in a new tab if i if we can open it no i think so this is stopping the virtual machine first then it will create an image it will take some time once this is done see successfully stopped the virtual machine so first it has stopped the virtual machine and successfully generalized virtual machine as well and now it is uh, i mean successfully it has submitted the deployment and deployment is in progress so here if you refresh this page in some time see the compute gallery is being created which generally we use to store our custom images and from here as your compute gallery you can share the images as well to someone this is a an azure i mean different uh, another azure service basically okay so from here if you create it you can store your custom image and you can create virtual machines uh, from the image you have already added here in this azure compute gallery okay so let's see the status you can see all the things first it has created the azure compute gallery after that it has created image definition and now it is creating vm image version as well okay these two are created and this is still in progress We'll have to wait for some more time okay meanwhile if you see the virtual machine let me go to the virtual machine here virtual machines here you can see this virtual machine is stopped 
okay this uh, vm is automatically stopped and deallocated and this is my compute gallery let me go to the compute gallery as well and here the image will be stored this is my compute gallery you can see all the definition or the details here you go to setting let it complete I think this is not yet completed in the sharing you can like select how you want to share this image you can you'll see all the definitions here so we have created the image definitions with, with this name image 01 you can see the details type provisioning state is succeeded os type linux os type os state, OS state, OS state generalized vm generation v2 and location is stws and this is still in progress okay compute gallery is created and also the image definitions okay if you go here generally creating the image take uh, will take some time if you see this is the image definition image 1 gallery 0 1 image 0 1 okay you can see all the properties here compute gallery name linux os state publisher you can see all the things here if you scroll down you can see the vm image version which we had created and at the moment provisioning state is creating and publish state is this target region is stws and at this moment replication state is unknown if you have replicated this in some different region then it will come as ok so this is still creating generally uh, it takes some, some time to create the image if you go to vm image version even from here you can see, see the image if you want to add the new version you can add new version as well from here if you click just on add version you can again create a new version as well okay here in configuration you can change the configuration recommended virtual machine cpus recommended virtual machine memory and end of life date you can see the properties here all the details so this is how we create a custom image and deploy or create a virtual machines from this image okay so you can share this image to anybody or just you'll have to go to access control and provide access to this image that can either be a per person a managed identity service principal or anything or any Azure, any other Azure service, they can access this VM, uh, sorry, this uh, image and create an virtual machine with this image. Okay. So this is still creating. Once this is created, you will see the status. And after this, you you can use this uh, image ID to use this image if you just click on json view you will get the resource id here you will have to use this image id to download this image or basically use this image from it if you want to create a virtual machine in portal directly with this uh, image you can just click on create vm here okay you can even update replication and other things in the setting but if you want to create a virtual machine with this image just click on create vm and it will give you an option to create the virtual machines if you come down here 
in the image see the gallery name is already selected and our image is also selected so this is not using any image from microsoft uh, from i mean uh, i mean microsoft marketplace this is this is using our image which we have created in azure compute gallery okay so this is how we take the snapshot or create an image of a virtual machine and we store that in azure compute gallery and with that using that this is how we can create the virtual machines even you can share the image definition with anyone to create a virtual machine out of it okay that's it from this video if you like this video video please like and subscribe my channel if you have any feedback please provide that in uh, comment section thanks for watching the video we'll meet uh, in different video with some another topic thanks